have been asked to share information today as it relates to the topic of the science of intuition. And when, when you truly look at the idea of what intuition means, you understand that the flow of the word talks about into, being able to go into I and begin a communication. And this is primarily the aspect to where every being holds the aspect of that of intuition. It is the communication of the inner mind. It is the communication of the inner heart. It is the communication of spirit. It is the communication of feeling. It is the communication of emotion. It is primarily the communication, the key ingredient to all expression. To simply have intuition is to bring yourself into the tapestry of the inner universe, to giving yourself permission to go within and see and feel and taste and touch and hear about what your own inner voice, your own inner feeling, your own inner essence is attempting to tell you. But the science of intuition all has to do with the mastery of vibration, the nature of frequency, the alignment of energy. And so when you are going intuitively into yourself, you are now starting to see yourself beyond what you consider to be the physical realm. For intuition itself is surreal. It does not hold a reality basis. It is again a product of subconscious. It is a product to where you are bringing in surreality and allowing yourself to connect more deeper to that energy. It is the idea that the vibrational cords that exist all around you are being plucked, are being strengthened, are being silenced. And that you are noticing that this energy, this frequency, this vibration of intuition is now being perceived through the mind. And that the mind's perception is being able to once again bring forward thoughts of clarity. Bring forward thoughts of understanding about what intuition is truly saying to you. But intuition really does not have a voice in that way. You give it a voice. It does not again have any particular aspect of dialogue. That is your responsibility for thought. For when you look into feeling, which is the quote unquote bread and butter of intuition, feeling itself is translated immediately from the heart. It is not from the brain. It is not from the mind. It is truly the Again, essence of spirit that comes together, received by the heart, perceived by the brain. This is why the brain can't figure out intuition, because the brain can't receive intuition. It's not possible. The only aspect of yourself that receives intuition is the heart space, is the heart mind. So you have the physical mind. You have the heart mind. You have source consciousness. And all that exists around you, 360 degrees panoramic, are these invisible little strings that, when plucked, create vibration. And through these particular strings that are being plucked vibrationally, how are they being plucked? Your own aspect of definition, your meaning, allows the strings to be plucked. Because you are assigning meaning through feeling, through thought, through expression. And so all of these invisible cords that are an infinitum around you are being plucked based upon the state of intention. Because understand that this physical body is a remote controlled device. It does not have localized intelligence. And we will say that again. It does not have localized intelligence. It is locally produced. It is locally bred. It is locally developed, but it does not have local intelligence. Everything that represents the functioning of your body is controlled by the soul. And so the soul is truly the manager that is now starting to work together with your body and performing all of these autonomic functions. It is not the body in that sense running itself. It is the idea that the soul is operating approximately 90% of your body. When intuition comes into you, again, we state that that is part of the surreal that it is a subconscious. And it is only when you realize it that it now comes into your conscious awareness. But that is how intuition works. Because intuition is helping you to connect more with the subconscious. 
It is helping you to connect more with the surreal. And it is the conscious self's responsibility to click in, to get these states of realization, to know that it is grasping on to these vibrational cords to receive insight through the brain and perceive that aspect. So receiving through the heart, perceiving through the brain, and being able to discover what intuition is telling you. Well, as many as you know, as many of you know, you realize that intuition has a vast story to tell you. It tells you about what lies ahead. It tells you about what is contained within your present moment that you may not yet see. It is giving you guidance. It is telling you about another entity, another self. It is telling you more about the innerness of your own self. When you go off into the dream state, you explore the vastness of intuition. You explore the vastness of your own subconscious mind. And intuition, therefore, is your guide. So intuition works together as a non-localized aspect of consciousness that is now funneling itself directly into you because you are providing meaning to yourself and how you are configured as this localized body that has non-localized intelligence that therefore governs the idea of intuition into you to discover exactly what you feel your purpose is, what your mission is, what your tasks are, how you wish to express yourself, who you see yourself to be, how you interact with others contained within your subconscious. That is intuition's job. It is here to help you remind you that you are more than this physicalized vessel. This again is just a remote conduit, a remote vessel, a remote vehicle that you are piloting so that you can have this interface based experience called Earth that you can experience this life as a human being because that is the model of the brand of the conduit that you are piloting. Who you truly are always will be non-physicality. It will always be non-locality. Well, Jonas, where does this consciousness emerge from? All around you. It is not over here, it is not over here, it is not over here to indicate an aspect of origin. It is all around. It is within. It is around. It is beyond. It is all that represents yourself. The source consciousness exists within every atom, exists within every subatomic particle, with everything that you understand microcosmically to exist. It does so. With everything you understand macrocosmically to exist, it does so. And therefore, that is the raw feed, the broadcast as it pertains to intuition, exists all around you. It is your own field of intelligence. It is your own conscious aspects. It is your own subconscious mind. It is everything that exists. And to work together with intuition involves what? Being able to explore yourself more inside, not outside. The outside, as we stated, is just an interface. It's no more different than looking at your computer screen. As a computer screen, it shows you all the programs that are available. It is able to navigate you in regards to certain forms of programs that you wish to use, but there is so much more going behind the scenes relating to your computer. The idea to where you connect to your internet is again a non-localized connection. That is the exact same thing pertaining to your consciousness. It is a non-localized connection, an ethernet aspect. Everything that you would understand to be the fastest way connecting at infinite speeds that represents your mind. This is one particular analogy about how you operate, who you truly are as soul, as spirit, as mind, as creator. That is your purpose. You come to this planet to operate this device to interact within this open world, to discover how other people are behaving, just so you can get an understanding about this experience, because we will say there is no grand experience other than the ones that you create. You are the product of the creation that you therefore decide. It is not up to anybody else to advance you. It is up to you to advance yourself by seeing exactly how everybody is portrayed within your reality. Well, Adronis, I may have some very, very negative people in my reality. Is that telling me something about myself? It's telling you all about your mind. 
Everything here is a product of your mind. Everything here represents your subconscious. Whether it be positive or negative, that's fine. What do I do about it? That's up to you. You decide. This is your mind. Now, we can always recommend to you that looking into everybody else as yourself is very, very helpful because you are helping to understand yourself. But again, not so much through life lessons as it is as life showing. That you are simply showing yourself how you imagine yourself to be in the eyes of others. And that again, there is that feeling that you need to change everything. But intuition is telling you, just accept it as it is. If a person in that sense does not agree with the type of career that you do, or the type of money that you make, or whatever it may be, that's all right. You have now taken that into consideration. Because you are seeing exactly what reality is doing to portray the aspect of your own mind through the people you meet, through the places you go, through the events you experience, through the things that you discover. That's all part of the mystery, the enigma that represents yourself. The grand goal here, again, is subjective. You're simply here to have an experience, to be here on this planet. It is an open world of free will. Whatever you wish to do is up to you. But your own intuition guides you because your intuition is guided altogether to bringing you back into your genuine, natural self. Well, what does that mean? Genuine, natural self. Everything that represents yourself without conflict. Everything that represents yourself to know, this is who I am. This is what I prefer. This is what I see myself doing. This is who I see myself becoming. Each and every single one of you will have a unique experience through that. And intuition, as these vibrating cords of consciousness, is moving through you and telling about yourself and telling you that intuition has the purity of you here. You may go through certain dances of impurities because, again, you are still socializing with the idea of feeling that the matrix here outside of yourself is in some shape, way, or form going to bring you into some type of conforming that will help you to find yourself. No, it won't. That's not possible. Everything pertaining to this landscape, to this projection screen that represents your consciousness, is all the outer reflection about what you are broadcasting within yourself. Vibrational energy, frequency, energy, all compatibilized together with intuition, is helping you to rediscover the center point, the zero point aspect, the neutrality of yourself. Will you get there in one life? We can't say. You have only infinity to figure this out, an eternal aspect in regards to being, to figure this out. So yes, many of you will have the aspects to which you refer to as intention, expressions, expansions, and moving yourself into particular areas where you feel you are genuinely able to align to. And we say, yes, indeed you will. Because we're not here to tell you exactly who you are. We're not here to tell you what is your genuine self, because only you are yourself. We can give you ideas based upon what you have been holding on to, what you have not been able to embrace that you know is truly delightful and wonderful to yourself, but you must do this to yourself. You must see this for yourself because regardless of anyone telling you, your own intuition is here to helping you bring yourself into that realization. How much will it take for you to give yourself permission to intuitively align yourself back into who you know yourself to be? That is the question. And that is a rhetorical aspect, because only you can answer that. So see intuition as your guide, how you perceive yourself, how you perceive others, how you perceive the world around you. That is intuition's job. Intuition is here to bring you into yourself, to see what you're holding on to, to see what you're still grasping on to, to see the challenges that you have made for yourself, and to see how liberation can truly bring you back into the balance that represents yourself. The true stillness of neutrality is the mission of intuition. We thank you once again for the opportunity of this interaction today. I am Adronis of Sirius. Thank you again, and we now return to the conduit. We will speak to you again, as now is forever, and all is one. Goodbye.
right, thank you everybody for tuning in. So feel free to go to realitywhisperer.com and uh, check out more of exciting videos and of course sessions, digital courses, and a lot more. Thank you so much and I look forward to speaking to you in the next Adronis Advancement Classroom and of course a lot of the other exciting shows we have here on the Reality Whisperer YouTube channel. Take care, namaste, and may it be well with you. Peace.